Right, okay. I've just escaped from the Dursleys in a spectacular stunt with my best friend, Ron Weasley. We might have crashed the flying car in the Forbidden Forest and been late for the sorting ceremony, but at least nothing can go wrong now. Oh dear, we are in trouble. Mr. Filch? Oh god, please don't tell anyone I was out of bounds. Take a good look, lad. This might be the last night you spend in this castle. Why would you say that? You know that sounds really menacing and, frankly, a little bit creepy. <coughs> ah, Mr. Filch, I got that, uh, stuff you wanted me to get. Hagrid, thank God you're here. Blind me, Harry, what you doing down Nocturne Alley? Georgie, please. Have you got what I asked for? Ah, yes, here's the goods, the, uh, <coughs> flesh-eating slug repellent. <coughs> what was that? Because it looked really shady. Ah, oh, just Dumbledore's orders, Harry. Nothing to worry about. Well, I don't think that's true. Just me, Rubius Hagrid. <laughs> Harry, Harry, Harry. Fame is a fickle thing indeed. Who are you? Get out of my house! You call this a house? Who are you? I'm scared. Come here, you little tyke. No, I'm a bit scared of you as well. Allow me to introduce you to your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Me? Gilderoy Lockhart. Order of Merlin, third class. Honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League and five times winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. But I didn't get rid of the abandoned banshee by smiling at him. Aha. Aha ha Okay. Well, stop it! No, really, uh, <laughs> smiling at him. Too <laughs> mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. Well, I, I best be going. Stop right there, Harry. I fear this may be your most dangerous year at Hogwarts yet. There have been rumours of something great, big and hairy running amok at Hogwarts. Great, big and hairy? Wouldn't be talking about me now, would you? I, I should get going. My friends will be wondering where I am. And child protection services at that. Goodness me, yes, look at the time. Spooky how time flies when you're having fun, eh? Yeah. Spooky. But that spooky? Nothing spooky about a few spiders around the place, no sir. What a two petrified students. Well, that's just another day at Hogwarts, isn't it? God, I love this school. D did you know I came in when I was just a tyke? I could pick up Professor Flitwick and pop him in the top jaw. Yes, I could. You were a student here too? Oh, I had classes with a boy named Riddle. Tom Riddle, of course, most people knew him as V- Vot uh, Von Viddle. Von Viddle. That sounds like a made up name. Oh, and Morning Myrtle doesn't. No, that does as well. Tell me about what happened to you at school. Ah, oh, I don't want to talk about it. Deary me, Harry, look, another fan simply overwhelmed by your presence. Well, celebrity is as celebrity does. <laughs> I'm upset, you idiot. My cat has been petrified. Oh god, it's Filch again. Yes, a few of the students have. Shame I wasn't around to stop the basilisk. Wait, petrified? That's a thing that can happen now? It was you, wasn't it? I knew you were troublemaker from the moment I saw you. You're the heir of Slytherin after all. I literally don't know what that is. I'll kill you. I'll kill you! Well, I'll be in my room getting... getting ready. Should any of you be allowed near children? Where's Professor Dumbledore? Hello, Harry. Hello, Hogwarts. In light of recent events, the Board of Education has seen it best that I step down and change actors. Therefore, I shall step down. The school has become oh, for students. too dangerous. No, Harry. For me. Dumbledore. Away.